welcome to the Awakening Podcast Network. Get ready for an inspiring audio from this cutting-edge voice. You can find more podcasts at awakeningpodcasts.com. You want to go deeper in prayer? Did you know I'm reaching millions of people every month through the power of prayer on social media? You can join me for daily corporate prophetic prayer sessions as I press into what the Lord is saying and release words of knowledge, prophecy, counsel, and teaching. Join online Mornings with the Holy Spirit prayer calls, facebook.com slash Jennifer LeClaire, Periscope, at Prophetic Books. These calls are bringing transformation to people in the nations around the world. Mornings with the Holy Spirit, Facebook, Periscope, 6 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, or catch the replay. You have gifts. God expects you to use them. If you need training to school your gift, log on to schoolofthespirit.tv. You'll find training in spiritual warfare, prophetic ministry, prayer, seer's ministry, writing, and so much more. Go to schoolofthespirit.tv today. Father, I rise today in total dependency upon you, decreeing and declaring the cancellation of all evil decrees over my year, over my life, over my family, over my business, over my possessions, over my projects, over my purpose, over my neighborhood, over my loved ones, over my marriage, over my community, over my government, and over my nation. Let every evil decree be replaced by your original plan and purpose for my life. I arise today to take my rightful place in this world. Shield me against persecution and false accusation. Shield me against seduction, against compromise, falsehood, slander, and greed. Shield me from discouragement, frustration, sabotage, accidents, death threats, mishaps, and manipulation. I decree that this year is filled with strategic encounters. This year is pregnant with purpose, promise, and potential. I speak that it is filled with wonderful surprises, with supernatural breakthroughs and miracles. The best of my today will become the worst of my tomorrows. For every day shall be sweeter and sweeter as the day before. I decree and declare this moment is my defining moment, marking the ending of a sad history, a depressing history, a discouraging history, and the beginning of a prosperous, debt-free, disease-free, depression-free destiny. I declare that I will forever live under an open heaven. I expect you, God, will grant me strategies for prosperous and successful living. Fill my mind with wisdom and knowledge of the true identity that you gave me when I was formed and created in my mother's womb. I decree that I am empowered to accomplish that which I was born to do, that I will become all that I was born to be, that my mission is clear, my vision is unobstructed, that my intentions are pure, that my motivation is solid, that my relationships are healthy, that you, God, shall supply all my need according to your riches in glory, that I will make my mark, that I will leave a legacy for the next generation, that I will live in a prosperous, healthy environment, that you prosper the works of my hand, that everything I touch will turn to prophetic goal, that my life will forever reflect the shimmer of your glory and divinity, that my life, my family, my friends will be blessed with all good things, that joy, peace, prosperity, and success are as abundant as the stars at night, that friendship, favor, affluence, influence, happiness, support, beauty, purpose, and direction, along with abundant living, are my constant companions, that I am unconditionally loved, celebrated, revered, appreciated, and honored beyond measure, and all human comprehension that you grant me true, lasting, mutually beneficial relationships, friendships, association, alliances, networks, partnerships, and support. This is the year of innovation for me. My creations, inventions, products, goods, and services will be in high demand globally. I pray that I will be firmly placed at a comparative advantage and given a competitive edge, that I will 
distinguish myself amongst the great, amongst the influential, amongst the powerful. That my good name precedes me, that my goals are achievable. Grant me wisdom for successful negotiation skills. All that is owed me, may it be released to me now. My blessings like the stars are too numerous to count. Health and wealth will walk with me hand in hand. My victories are as abundant as the grain of sand. Lack and struggle are distant memory of the past. My enemies will be subdued. I will be fruitful in all of my endeavors. Grant me multiple streams of income. Let me navigate these streams with an anointing that gives me business savvy. Let economic and financial tides turn in my favor. Let me be an agent of light and truth in the world of darkness. Let me be the change I want to see. That no one will meet me and not be positively impacted. Let the gifts you have given me begin to flourish. I recognize that you have created me as a free moral agent. I realize that my destiny is determined by my decision. I am not an incident nor an accident. This is the beginning of the best of my days. There is no such thing as a coincidence. I therefore use the freedom you have given me, the freedom to choose, knowing that there is a direct correlation between the decisions I make today and the reality I will experience tomorrow. Therefore, I choose love. I will let no occasion or action of others instigate, precipitate, or justify bitterness, hatred, resentment, retaliatory action, or negative reaction. I choose love because I choose you. You are love. I choose to love what you love. I choose to live without the need for re revenge. I choose to live free from regrets and missteps. I choose to love myself unconditionally and from this place love others. I refuse to see people as anything less than human beings created by you. I choose to move beyond the hurts and the disappointments of my past and give myself permission to lovingly embrace all that I am and all that you have placed inside of me. I choose love. I choose joy for the joy of the Lord is my strength. I choose to put my best foot forward as I leave the past behind. I choose to squeeze every second out of every hour instead of clenching my fit at a new assignment or a task or an obligation or a challenge or responsibility. I face them with joy and courage knowing that they are opportunities divinely given to me to maximize my potential. I invite you to be the God of every circumstance as well as the outcome of every decision or situation. I refuse the temptation to be cynical or depressed, upset or distracted by obstacles, for they are figments of my imaginations and emotions of my choosing. I choose to see any problem as anything less than an opportunity to see you at work. You are the God of the impossible, and with you all things are possible. I choose. I choose peace. I receive divine peace that passes all understanding. I receive refuse to live a life of unforgiveness. So I live a, in the realm of forgiveness. I forgive so that I may live without torment. You said rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderations be known unto all men and be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto you. And the God of peace, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Father, I am thinking on the things that are positive and just and pure and lovely and good and praiseworthy. And although today I will have every opportunity to think otherwise, when I find myself in a negative place, remind me to think on those things that are good. Father, I choose patience. You have not given me the spirit of fear, but a power of love and soundness of 
of mine. Therefore, I will not be anxious for anything, but I will patiently wait. I will overlook the inconveniences of this world. And instead of being deceived into believing someone wants to take my place, I will not be seduced into believing that that place can be taken. I have no need to curse those who attempt to undermine my purpose. I choose instead to focus, instead to perceive them as individuals who desire to do more and to be more even as I desire the same thing. But they may lack the strategy to understand how to get what they want without fighting. So I pray that they may find it. And when I pray for answers, God, for answers, for breakthroughs, for opportunities, for divine interventions, rather than complaining the wait is too long, let me use those precious moments as opportunities to prepare for my future, to hone my skills, or to help someone else to do the same. I will be anxious for nothing. I choose kindness. I will be kind to the poor, the orphans, the widows, for they are alone. I will give to those who can never repay the favor. I choose to be kind to those who others perceive as mean, for they are afraid. They are insecure. I will be kind to those who mistreat others, the unkind and the unlovable, for such is how you treated me. I choose goodness. I will go without before I take this honest gain. I will be overlooked before I will boast. I will confess before I accuse. I choose goodness. I choose faithfulness. Today I will keep my promise. My debtors will not regret their trust. My associates will not question my word. My family will not question my love. My protégés will never fear that their mentor will not be there for them when they need it. So I choose faithfulness. I choose gentleness. Since nothing is won by force, I choose to be gentle. If I raise my voice, may it only be in praise of God and others. If I clench my fist, may it only be in prayer or to grab a handful of blessing to bestow upon others. If I make a demand, may it only be of myself. I choose humility and meekness. I recognize that all my blessings, my opportunities, my success and prosperity comes from you. To whom much is given, much is required. You have given me much and I know that much is required from me. And in all my humility, I recognize that every good and positive and perfect gift comes from you. I cannot boast of anything, but with all humility, I stop, I say thank you. Thank you uh, for entrusting me with these gifts, with my personality, with the opportunity. Thank you for entrusting me with everything. I choose self-control. I'm a spiritual being living in a body. Let me not overindulge in any act or substance that will dishonor or desecrate this temple. I refuse to let what is decaying rule the eternal or that which is natural reign over the supernatural. I choose self-control. If I am drunk, let me be drunk only with joy and peace and righteous living. I will be impassioned only by my faith and only by that which is good and that which will influence others to live a better life and a good life. Let me display self-control at all times and in all situations. I choose faith. I choose not to employ the tools of second guessing, laziness, and procrastination. I put my faith and trust in your ability, which is the only substitute for my inability. I thank you, Father, that in my inability, your ability trumps. I choose to attack every day with deliberation, to act based on a vision and goals and my personal dream for making this world a better place. I choose to live a life that is dynamic. I refuse to use alibis that begin with statements like those and them and they. I am the one that makes the decision and therefore I choose to discard any kind of alibi. I refuse to use others as an escape for my own personal responsibility. I thank you God because I'm choosing this day to rely less on others and more on you. I choose to be patient with everyone as I expect the same from them. I choose to live by the fruit of the spirit. I choose love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. I choose blessings.
blessings and not curses. I choose a life and not death. I choose abundance and not scarcity. I choose success and not failure. Father, if I succeed, I will give you thanks. And if I fail, I will learn and I will seek the grace of God for an alternative strategy. And then when the day is done, Father, and I place my head on the pillow and I rest, I will awaken to another day should it be your will, taking my life out of neutral to live the life of my dreams and to live life on purpose according to your will. Amen. You want to go deeper? Get equipped to overcome and walk in God's purpose for your life at Awakening House of Prayer's online campus. You'll experience an online family, preaching, teaching, and prophetic impartation for victorious living. We have over a thousand members online hungry for what God is saying and doing in the earth. Visit ahop.online today and join our family. AHOP TV empowers believers with spirit-inspired messages and strategic equipping that accelerates your spiritual growth. You can subscribe to stream weekly content from Awakening House of Prayer, conferences, and other exclusive content to stir your hunger and encourage your heart. Visit us online at ahop.tv. This has been a production of the Awakening Podcast Network. Jennifer LeClaire is the founder and owner of APN. Our heart is to inspire people and exalt Jesus with every broadcast. We're grateful for our advertisers and supporters that make these podcasts possible.